Alright guys, so what's up, I'm finally back though today, got a pretty quick, um, Duncan Brown video, I want to do that really quick, of course, yeah, um, I'm not going to on this, I was like, I will, <laughs> but yeah, we did get some pretty good news for Duncan right now, uh, we do got a new team battle, it's live up in the game for JP specifically right now, um, again, um, this should be, um, uh, maybe about Friday, Saturday, honestly, um, yeah, I've been recording so much these last couple of days, so it's like, um, it's like one day I record, one day I don't, but it's only like one day of recording, but I'm not going to spend all day on them, because, you know, I'm going to spend the whole day on the just the computer doing other uh, stuff like this. But yeah, we did get a new champion enemy within this Goku right here. He's from the World Tournament. Um, the final like World Tournament in Dragon Ball Z specifically. At the end of Dragon Ball Z, like just regular Dragon Ball Z. And it was like after the boost, I was good, like 10 years later. I know Super kind of leads on into that, but like, oh yeah, because Super, Super is canon now. Um, it does, it's like in between the Majin Buu arc, like the Yellow Sun Goku and some Return Special. Oh uh, yeah, like all those specials kind of lead off like after the Saga, like a couple months or like a year later or whatever. Again, it's not like technically the end of Z, but the end of Z is like 10 years later, right after the Buu arc. So yeah, if you want kind of like Dragon Ball Super and stuff like that, you know, on GT if you really want to, but because I always thought it was like, you know, Dragon Ball Z splits off into like, you know, Super then GT, like two separate things. Um, I kind of do get that as well, uh, realistically though, but yeah, I'm gonna do Chain Battle Enemy within this Goku right here. Um, I get uh, face jam beam? Okay, I don't know, it's sweet, I don't know. But yeah, um, you get these live on JP and stuff like that. If you guys do not know what Chain Battle is, I'll go over it really quick. It's super simple and easy to kind of go through. But it's a new way of getting equipment and stuff like that, a better way to get equipment. I love it, it's way good. Um, the brawler, of course, it's not just, you know, every enemy kind of varies and stuff like that. It's basically a new mode and stuff like that. You gotta reach a good high score. You gotta do damage against enemies and stuff like that. Um, again, super simple, super easy to kind of go through and stuff like that. Um, I go through every video. I just want to refresh it for everybody's mind. If you're like a new person to the channel or, you know, just doing stuff like this. Um, basically just new way of getting equipment and stuff like that. A new um, item right here is the new emblem, which you can basically, of course, you know, go in the shop and stuff like that. Um, after you beat chain battle, um, or you know, beat, um, you know, enemies and the nice and stuff like that to your character. Um, to the person and stuff like that, you can actually send nice to them. And they can send nice back to you. They give you their hero connectors, you know, villain connectors or whatever. Get like a high score. They'll give you, you know, like an item or something like that. That item you can use to go in the bottle shop. It's a special treasure tab at the very, very end. Click that. There's um, a new chest right there. You can actually open that and get team battle um, equipment and stuff like that. I know for Global, we should be getting team battle stuff. I want to say maybe, I don't know when, like Celebration, maybe part two, because there's going to be an autumn, this autumn campaign, there's going to be a part two for it. I feel like Global could get that. Um, he did actually mention part two missions and stuff like that. I think like almost like a week later. So by the time it goes up, it should be almost like, I want to say like what, Monday, Tuesday ish, maybe Friday. Right, probably next Friday, honestly. But yeah, of course, there are different characters. You can bring 10 heroes, 10 villains. Of course, you know, you have a main hero connector, you have a main villain connector. Um, you get all your connectors and stuff like that. Again, all your characters, stuff like that. Uh, rares, um, it says, and rare SRS, um, you know, uh, you use a rare SR any type of or any character, just they have to be awakened, though. Z awakened, and stuff like that. So basically, you know, awaken, rare, and stuff like that, some of stuff. Ends do not count, so yeah, you can't use them, unfortunately. Of course, again, every character has a different weakness and stuff like that, and can do characters, I think it's specifically characters that vary. Categories basically are there, but like, okay, um, you can do more damage against it and stuff like that. Characters actually do a lot, like, the actual character and stuff like that, um, helps you out, like, their main hero connector. You have a main connector you can use, um, of course, so, so, of course like that. I'll go that in um, more de deeper detail a little bit later. Um, you have your energy and stuff like that. You can do it five times a day, um, regularly, but that, that you can use stone to refresh it on um, five times a day, but then after that with your login bonus. Like for me down here, for example, when down here hits, um, eight o'clock for me, PM, that's my, um, uh, you know, um, day changeover and stuff like that. And my tablet, give me a second. Sorry about that. My other tablet wants to be a little bit of a blah, 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 blah. Okay, I completely forgot about that. But yeah, um, again, uh, every ver yeah, you can do that five times a day. Again, you can use stones, which for real players, I don't really recommend because a lot of people are not gonna have five stones on their top of hand. But again, it was up for like about like a week, then of course it goes away, then it comes back uh, about a couple of days later. But okay, here's your prize and stuff like that. Of course, you have your main attacker and stuff like that. Person who's gonna attack, you get like three or more um characters. You just have three um you know main characters and stuff like that in the chain um, battles in the chain um explosive chain state um and stuff like that. Of course um. Basically, the characters that are on the category and stuff like that that do are gonna help out a lot. I'm um, gonna do more damage. Like for example, you can have like a red. I think it has like a blue and red like um you know gl a glimmer to them. If it's blue and red, that means they're amazing against it. They're the main people you want to use. And the blue one, basically, they're gonna be more. They're gonna be effective. Again, there's other characters like you are stuff like that. Side characters are gonna do a lot more damage. People are more, like, like double and 
three like categories and stuff like that are gonna do more damage as well. Um, they're gonna help you out more. They're gonna be more your support and stuff like that. Again, you have chain power and stuff like that for um blue ones hero, red ones villain. You wanna get those really maxed out. The more you get those maxed out, the more um damage you're gonna do and stuff like that. And we'll go to your overall damage total for your um overall main character. Again, you have three um you know um. Okay, I'm back. Um, I had to do something really quick, so you kind of lose the edit cut right there. But yeah, like I said though, um, for chain battle, I look a little bit tired. You can definitely tell by the time step. I had to do something really quick. Whew, okay. So yeah, like I said, the, um, your main hero, I, I forgot what I said, I lost my um, turn of thought. Um, you have a, okay, you have a blue chain, red chain, blue means hero, um, red means villain, of course you can select hero or villain. I think depending who's stronger on that specific, um, you know, battle and stuff like that, um, because they have a red and blue glimmer and stuff like that, but it is all random, like, all this stuff right here, so if you three, they're all completely random, though. Of course, they're gonna probably, probably have a chain battle, if you go to full, they help for your overall chain battle, if they, follow, if they go to full power, that's amazing, that's good, that's really, that's where you really, really, really want to get, and stuff like that, um, but yeah. And that's really kind of just of it though, that, that you know, it's randomly damage and stuff like that, basically. Um, you can get a good high damage number, you can get a low high damage number, it doesn't really count. But yeah, your chain battle does factor in. Bigger, better ones, of course, you have a lower one, it's bad. But if, a good, if you have a really good high one, really good. Of course, you have supporters, heroes, and villains. Of course, there are um, advantages and disadvantages for heroes and villains. Again, it's blue and red lighting, that means you're going to get that category enemy. Um, as a user, really not going to be that good. But you go to like a support or whatever, um, <clears throat> you go right at it. Um, and stuff like that, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it though, pretty much for chain battle, that, that random building damage and stuff like that, of course, um, other connectors and stuff like that, of course, you know, blue and stuff like that, so it's going good, it's category, like I said, red, glow, red and blue glow means perfectly good, um, they could do, I think red has more advantage, and blue also is good as well, um, if, if they have red and blue, it's going to be really good, you have a red blue pyramid right here, of course you get number one, you don't have to get number one in one day, I did anyway, I had to fight two, three days, um, of course though, um, you get prizes depending which two you're in, basically, so yeah, um, we have a battle log, of course, you can always show like all your battles and stuff like that. If you hit a new high score, or whatever, um, your friends get something nice. The more nice, the more nice you can get, like, that, um, basically, um, equipment and stuff like that, um, um, ammo and stuff like that, of course. And basic rules and stuff like that still apply. HP, attack, defense, your main attacker and stuff like that, um, support and stuff like that, like I said before. The, um, I think you would really tap it really fast. It is RNG based though. I really hate that though, but you do actually have to, um, if the, the uh, meter down there, the time meter goes out, you basically will select three, three random units for you. You want to tap really, really, really fast because those are factor in. Those are going to do more damage, time, doing some more damage, and stuff like that. So you basically will be looking at, you can actually force those apps if you really want to open it back up from your um, menu page and stuff like that. Of course, you know, I me, yeah, I can just double tap it, go back in there, typical stuff. Um, for me. I think I'll my face, which is still kind of high, though, but. Um, um, but yeah, all that kind of factors in though, of course, so yeah, um, that's pretty much all yeah, yeah, rewards, I kind of went over that already, you can get those through via missions, maybe for the emblem and stuff like that, um, so yeah, I'd probably make it for Chamber though, if you wanted to rerun the video and go for it and stuff like that, again, super simple stuff like that, easy, um, again, I go, I'm gonna go over this every time it comes out, so you can refresh your freaking brains, because no one ever really reads the news, that's been a big meme with Dokken, or no one really ever gets attention, they just wait for the videos to come out, be like, oh yeah, how do you do this, I just watched the video. <laughs> Loki. Um, I just learned from all the YouTubers. I do what they do and I copy right back. <laughs> I'm getting though. Um, for YouTube though, basically, you have to do your own style kind of thing. I don't know. Really getting depth for YouTube. You just want to do your own type of style. Or if you're just not doing YouTube, doing Twitch or whatever, um, you want to do your kind of own style of videos. Yeah. That's pretty much it for James Powell though, um, for like all the main chips and stuff like that. I think it's all like all the um, rewards you can get and stuff like that. Again, you don't have to hit number one in one day. You want to, you can hit like top three, top one, whatever, however you feel like it. Um, Again, super simple and easy like that. Again, you had to hit them one in one day. It doesn't really matter because all the prizes are always if you get equipment, stickers, um, potential orbs. That's really good for me. I do that eat some more. I got a lot of these donations that they train up after 350. Um, or yeah, the worldwide celebration, however you want to pronounce it. But yeah, that's pretty good for much for Jane Bell though. All the main goals and stuff like that. Right, these are just missions though. Um, right here, basically all these are just missions and stuff like that. Again, um, just doing high damage numbers and stuff like that. I think the first day I got like 7 million or 8 million. Um, 80 million. Um, but yeah, again, you don't have to do it all in one day or whatever. It's up for like a week, so you can do whatever you feel like it. Um, this time around, this Goku right here actually stays the main enemy. So basically, um, for this one, we'll use World Tournament, Earthling, and other World Warriors. Uh, this really is bad. I'm gonna explain though, because everybody can have all these World Tournament cards. These are all the main, this is what I was talking about. You want all the main advantage cards. Again, of course, um, people are gonna be all in multiple categories. The two dots, they're gonna be amazingly good against them though. Or, I think three sometimes you can get. Um, you wanna get, again, if you have um, one person on all those categories, they are gonna do more damage, especially if there's your main connector, your main attacker, they're gonna do a lot of damage against them. Yeah, also suppose AGL, they're also super simple and easy. Demon K Pickle is gonna be a main advantage, but, um, 
in the context that everybody's not going to have, for what to this really isn't kind of fair because not everybody's going to have all these units ready to go. Let's see, like a day one player, or you know, you've been playing for a couple of days, you got a lot of good units on your team and stuff like that. You're not going to really do all that much damage against this guy because, um, again, all the, ca all the categories kind of do suck anyway. These are the only ones that barely need buffs. Earthen's pretty okay, um, but World Tournament sucks, and other Warriors just got a couple of new units on there. But still, that's the categories against. Those kids, all the three categories in Dokken that really badly need buffs, in my opinion. They just need them. I'm sorry, they badly just need them and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. But otherwise, though, pretty simple stuff, though, this time around. Again, for all our players like me, for example, that are playing a lot for a really long time, um, I think you got like, about a good week to do this. But yeah, today I'm recording this from October 8th. It'll probably be 9th by the time I upload this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, about a day, like about a couple of days. Again, this comes up with a global in about a week. Because I'm just coming up with a global in about a week for um, Broly specifically. His is a lot easier though. Um, and stuff like that, of course, you know, global's kind of goes backwards and forth with it. Because, you know, they got chain battle during the down celebration, kind of. And, you know, they think global get cut. I can, though, they kind of get this time. Chain battle stuff at the kind of same time. Um, it comes out every month though, or every, like every other celebration, big celebration, or every other celebration. Every month, though. So, yeah. Baby K Pickle is gonna be your best guy. I guess him again. He's AGL, so again, they're all AGL at this point. Yeah. But like I said, but specifically for me, um, for overall other people, it's not gonna be really fair because everybody's not gonna have all these world tournaments. I'm gonna miss like two out of all these guys. Again, all the world. I like how they go in order for all the world tournaments. We got uh, main. Yeah, all the world tournaments are Gohan. Someone has a big Gohan finish. Thank you so much. I love all Gohans. But yeah. Um, Again, you want to use like all the text and stuff like that. Of course, you know, all the world tournament cards can be really good against this. Again, you can get pick. Uh, again, like um, yeah, world tournament Earthlings, TNs will probably be your best bet here. And Yamcha, even though they're gonna have like no um, as much damage, you type of advantage, just stuff like that. But I don't think really factors into your battle. But you still want to do uh, you know, make your you know, bring all your connectors and stuff like that. Again, all the world tournament cards, everybody's gonna have them. Um, that, yeah, not that much for villain though, honestly. Only just heroes. So that really is kind of fair because all the heroes. Um. And again, villains and stuff like that, because you know, the more heroes doing damage against more villains, and villains doing more damage against heroes in the game. It's always been how it's been since day one, though, of course. But yeah. Um, what's my face logo? I'm so hot right now. Yeah, I don't care. I'm doing a mid video. But yeah, again, not really that fair because all these guys are like literally. I mean, all the techniques are going to be amazing. I hear like Kale, Go Tanks, Go Hans. Again, it's not really fair because you know, everybody's not going to have all these guys. In the context, I'm sorry though, it's really not fair to everybody because you know, everybody's not have all these cards ready to go for chain battle, um, and stuff like that, of course. You know, like, yeah, um, this is what again, these are all the categories you are gonna do the most damage against them. Well, tournament again, they got some pretty good you, but I'd probably would say this one had the most of them on here, honestly. Because Hercule, we just got this Hercule, he has easy, he's pretty good. Team's gonna be amazing for this. Dim K Pickle is gonna be good. This Hercule probably be good as well. Again, all the main units you really want to use are going to be on the list, so you really want to use those red and blue units and stuff like that are going to do a lot more damage against the uh, main connector. Again, World Tournament doesn't have that many units on here, it still just sucks. It just needs more better, it needs better like placements, it just needs better units overall. Unless that Earthly probably is probably the best one out of all of these though, because um, uh, kind of you have a lot of Kremlin on here, you have the Tian, you have Ubu's a replay unit. Um, yeah, Chi is going to be probably good for these two because um she's again you know, she's in the world tournament category and she of course you know she has the world, she's gonna be one of the main reasons we use for this team she's gonna go world tournament and earthling so she's gonna be really good for this one i don't wish i could choose gonna be one of the main units you can actually use yeah Oob's gonna be on here it's gonna be good yeah so Oob um that's gonna be good on here chi chi krillin is gonna be pretty good tan's gonna be amazing like i said before um gold doesn't have these guys yet they should go far too for going open for home celebration kind of stupid excuse me they didn't use it um, Munch is going to be pretty good on here. Again, El Hercule, he just got easy. He's going to be amazing on here. Uh, yeah, you got a couple good L's. Yeah, Earthly Potty is going to be your best bet because you have, um, yeah, Dragon Ball Super Krillin, everybody's not going to have him. You got Tien, um, El Hercule, El Yamcha, and uh, Poir. They're going to be El Krillin. Yeah, Earthly is going to be your more best bet. That category is a little bit more stacked, at least. It's a little bit more better than World Tournament, honestly. It's just, it really is. Yeah, she's just gonna be amazing. Again, all World Tournament cards are gonna do more damage. Again, not really that fair because, um, yeah. But it's the other Warrior. Again, they probably get in, like, you know, a good category, amazing good category, a secondary, pretty decent category, and the last category is kind of sucks. But the other World Warriors, they did, it did just get a couple good buffs with Frieza. Of course, it's Vegeta right there. They got some pretty good buffs. Um, yeah, LR Gogeta right there. Um, I'm not really gonna get LR this guy. Gorge is gonna freak out. LR, you know, Frieza. He's gonna be an LR sooner or later. Even though we just got, like, a new one for, um, you know, celebration. Again, other World Warriors doesn't really have that much LRs, but again, you want to factor those in as well. Um, again, bring, try to bring all the best units you can in your box and stuff like that. Again, other World Warriors still probably new-ish, almost a year in, and we still, you know, still kind of sucks-ish. But we got some really good buffs to sell, Frieza, 
um, new Doctor Who is that he can't run him on the same team. Um, Doctor's going to be pretty good. Again, LR Gojia is going to be pretty good. Um, LR, the new LR, um, Intro Vegeta is going to be good. So it's like Intro Vegeta. It's going to be pretty good here. I was at Earth, probably the more stacked one on here because you got LR Krillin, Quar, Tian, Tian, I'm not Tian, Chao Tzu, again, all the Tians, Chao Tzu's, Yamcha's, they're all going to be amazing here. Probably have the bullet, bullet red and blue, um, you know, um, marking on them. So I mean, it's going to be amazing for this event. DMK Pickles are probably going to be pretty good, even though. Know. He definitely should be on the Warzone category because then he, no, he didn't enter the Warzone. I feel like he should be, he could be on the category because he was basically after all the World Tournament units, but yeah, he actually didn't participate in the World Tournament himself. But he did try to kill every martial artist, so I feel like that should at least count though. And he should be on Revenge because he specifically wanted revenge against everybody. Master Roshi, um, Muyahito, Muyahito, again, all of us. He wanted to kill every martial artist in the tournament, so basically they all have potential of sealing him with an evil containment wave. Thank you, Truth, for that little if, bit of information, even though I kind of already knew uh, years ago. Um, the tournament announced that, oh yeah, he's, gonna kill, he's trying to kill everybody from the World Tournament so they won't have potential to learn them Fuba and, you know, do doing damage against them. Yeah, everything is going to be your best bet because they have RTN. Um, again, Yamcha, Par, Krillin's going to be good on here. Again, all those units really want to use them because, yeah, again, go ahead, go ahead and it'll be here. Yeah, Earth, uh, yeah World Tournament's going to suck here a little bit. Um, I wish you have hidden and stuff like that here and there. But yeah, going to go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, my full overall view on this chain battle. Again, it's good. The units on here are just, again, specifically just these World Tournament units are going to be amazing, even though, you know, all the other units are on here. Basically, these are all the best people you want to use in the category. I think it's going to be on the list. Like, okay, these are all the best units you can use. I think it's going to be Yeah, it's going to be good on here as well. But again, all specifically, all the World Tournament prizes are going to be good on here. A lot of people are not going to have them, though, like, you know, all the LRs, because no one's going to really ever play, play World Tournament because it still sucks. They need probably need to still revamp it. But overall, Earthlings going to be good on here. Um, Probably your best one's gonna be probably Earthlink for those categories. That category is way just too. you got a lot of good buffs lately. Other Warrior won't be as much good, but you can still have a couple of good LRs on there. And War Tournament just sucks. It's gonna horribly suck on this kind of. Again, you got some hidden gems here and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. Good again in the video here for Champion Hound stuff like this, that, this time around. Again, yields are amazing. Um, for War Tournament stuff like that, but again, not everybody's gonna have them. Um, some of the overall categories stuff like that. Earthlink's probably gonna be, be your best bet. Take your probably World Tournament because some of those units kind of blended with each other and other World Warrior. Again, when people are on three of those categories, that's, the, that's gonna do, probably be most damaging written and stuff like that. But yeah, good to go ahead and end the video here, like I said, though. Again, pretty much good for the chain battle, though. But yeah, um, I'm gonna probably upload this for a couple more days. I know I still upload the Freezer one, so I'm just recording, so yeah. I had that one actually ready to go. I'm not just one ready to go by the time I, you know, upload and stuff like that. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great day. Oh, good job. Again, though, probably we're going to let them know I did this for this one specifically because I want to get this video out as soon as I can. Like I said, though, we'll the end of Z Goku um, and stuff like that. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Again, though. Peace out.